IFM is a research institute within the university. We combine research training with leading edge research in material science and engineering. Our goal is nothing short of to have a transformational benefit to society through our research. We address two almost competing objectives. Our first objective is how to create materials that have a functionality that materials haven't had before. And this can enable all sorts of new technologies. The second objective is how to create materials that stimulate a circular economy. So often material solutions create more complicated products that are harder to recycle. We're addressing head on the challenge of reuse, recycling and longevity of materials. So IFM uh, carries out research on materials science and engineering. So of course the engineering is at the translation end, so you're making products and real parts, but the science is very important as well. And so with the science, we grapple with how to model at the atomic level the behaviour of materials. So we have electron microscopes, we have an atom probe tomograph, so we can look at individual atoms when we need to and create the science that then underpins the design of new materials. Hi, my name is Karina Biernacka and I'm third year PhD student at IFM Dikin. During my PhD project, I'm working on development of new materials for uh, sodium ion batteries. In the meantime, I'm also working with two other female researchers from IFM Dikin on a project called 11 Store. 11 Store was introduced last year during climate launch competition where we pitched our big green business idea and also luckily we won a multiple prizes. This idea is focusing around development of new sustainable and environmentally friendly sodium ion batteries for mobility application in Indonesia. PhD at IFM is excellent opportunity to expand your knowledge in a very supporting and open-minded work environment. Starting my PhD Two years ago, I was not even dreaming about being in the place that I am now. During those past two years, not only I learned about fundamental material science, but also by being exposed to many different projects and activities, it helped me to find my passion and to decide on my future career. So the main benefits of studying PhD at IFM Dikin is being surrounded by great people who always happily support you during your PhD path, and that's very important. I found it instrumental in overcoming challenges that I faced during my PhD. I think that another main benefit is that people who are very supportive, they are also a world-class scientist, and the knowledge that they are passing you is just amazing. So definitely, this is the career path that I'd like to follow. I'd like to continue my journey with learning about development of new sustainable storage technologies, which are much needed nowadays and will be even more needed in a close future. I think that excitement about creating something new and knowing that it will have impact of, on millions of people's lives and will help the, to stop the climate change I think that that's something that I like the most about my work and that's something that is driving me every day. So knowing what I would like to do next in terms of my career path, I had many discussions with my supervisors about how they can help me with achieving my goals and also how we can together navigate my PhD project. I think that this support and mentoring from their side was essential. Now, as mentioned, I am third year PhD student, doing at the same time part-time internship, working for Australian company which brings first sodium ion batteries to Australia and Southeast Asia. And I think that that's very important to have understanding about the difference between academia and also industry, and by undertaking a different uh, placements or internship you will be able to understand this more and decide what you want to do next, what's better for you. In terms of the skills that you are picking up during PhD, I think that the main skill is the time and project management. That's something 
that you are learning as you go during your PhD project, how to manage your own project and how to manage your time in order to progress with your project. The other benefits, which are also very important, I think that it's public speaking because we have a lot of presentations and a lot of conferences during also which we are meeting a lot of people. So we are learning at the same time how to network with them, how to talk about your project with a different people on different levels. And also collaboration, because we are all collaborating within IFM and Deakin, but also we have a lot of collaborators across Australia as well as overseas. In terms of financial support, Deakin has many different options available. In my case, Deakin supported me financially by providing a scholarship, which helped me to come to Australia and also undertake the PhD degree at Deakin IFM. So if you are still wondering if PhD at Deakin is something that you would like to do, I think that the best way to, to do this is firstly to talk with one of us PhD students or maybe someone who graduated a PhD from Deakin and just listen about the experience and think if that's something what you would benefit from. The title of my project is Circular Textiles, Redesigning Textile Fibres for a Circular Economy. My project involves using waste cotton textiles to develop new value-added materials. The waste cotton is dissolved in a green solvent and regenerated into a water bath using a process known as wet spinning. Right now, I'm working on wet spinning bicomponent fibres for advanced applications. Bicomponent fibres are fibres containing two physically or chemically distinct polymers in continuous contact within the one fibre. A PhD at IFM has introduced me to the world of research, and I believe it has opened doors in terms of the um, potential career opportunities after I finish. The main benefits of studying a PhD at IFM uh, the supervision, the work environment, and the facilities available. The supervision is great, with a diverse range of senior researchers always willing to provide guidance and advice. The work environment is um, welcoming and um, very inclusive, and the facilities available are second to none. And this, coupled with the expert technical staff, make it very easy to conduct experimental work. Absolutely not. I did not see myself doing a PhD. It wasn't until about halfway through my honours that I realised my passion for research. And I was lucky enough to complete an internship at IFM, um, which gave me a little bit of a taste test of how a PhD would be. And I liked it, so here I am. I like the mix of desk work and hands-on lab work. And I also like the um, the autonomy and freedom given to the PhD students. It's also a great um, feeling like you're having, having some impact and, and working towards a more sustainable and healthy future society. My supervisors have helped me tremendously. They're always willing to provide important feedback on my results and point me in the right direction for technical assistance. And they also ask, thought-provoking questions that usually lead to me um, discovering something new and exciting. Studying a PhD has given me the technical skills to perform um, advanced material characterization experiments. It has improved my public speaking abilities and it has given me the soft skills to communicate with people from a diverse range of um, backgrounds and interests. Deakin helped me to obtain a scholarship which covers my um, course fees and pays me an additional stipend. Um, they also pay for any of my lab equipment and any materials I may need to order for my experiments. I hope to work in research and development, preferably in industry. 
My overall plan is to gain some industry experience before returning to academia as a lecturer. Hi, I'm Melissa Stanfield. I'm currently completing my PhD at Goodman's IFM and I'm studying on the Warren Ponds campus currently. My project involves electrochemically modifying carbon fiber. We do this to improve the fibers properties and also introduce new properties to the fiber. So essentially, essentially overall, we're trying to improve the properties of carbon fiber reinforced composites so that they can broaden the application and be used in um, more everyday life. The main benefits of studying my PhD at Deakin is probably working in such a diverse environment. Every day you have such a large exposure to many different research areas, many different researchers who are experts in lots of different fields across materials from physicists to chemists to engineers. So working collaboratively with them um, and learning from their different areas has been such a great benefit of studying at Deakin's IFM. Uh, and not initially, this wasn't the career path I thought I would follow. I decided to complete an internship during my bachelor's degree um, at a research organisation and that internship has led me to follow this path as I became aware of how cool and exciting research is and I decided to pursue a career um, in research. Every day I'm doing something different and I'm making small steps towards a much bigger research question. I'm always in the lab doing new and different experiments. I don't think I've ever had two days that feel the same. So it's a high, um, fast paced environment and I really enjoy working yeah, in that kind of environment. My supervisors have offered me a lot of support and guidance along the way. They've kept me on track so that I'm constantly progressing throughout my PhD. They're there to discuss experiments and discuss experimental design and the overarching aims and goals of the project. So they're, I guess, a bit of a sounding board as well. I've picked up so many useful skills, so many different analytical techniques, too many to list really. But I think the most significant skills I've picked up are problem solving skills the ability to communicate and also working with people to achieve research goals, working collaboratively. These skills I feel like I'll take to my next future jobs after um, completing my PhD and they'll be skills that I'm constantly using in my research career. Deakin provides a scholarship to assist financially to the PhD students. So while you're completing your PhD, you do have that financial assistance of the scholarship. <laughs> 